So I got the iPhone, I got the iPad, got the Apple Watch. I wonder why they don't just call it an iWatch. And oh yes, I even have the Apple Pencil, but I'm not getting the Apple credit card. I just don't feel it's worth it. And today I'm gonna to explain why and give you two alternative credit cards that give you more bang for your buck. Stay tuned. I have been an Apple fan for many years, but the Apple credit card just isn't worth it to me. But the question I have for you today is what is your favorite Apple product? Comment below and let me know what it is in the comments down below. I would say for me, it's a toss up between the iPad and the Apple Watch, but Honestly, I think the Apple Watch wins the gold here because I just love the fact that it tracks my fitness, my sleep, and everything in between. And I wanna welcome back all the sweet lifers to the channel. And if you're not subscribed, wait, not subscribe? God, smash that subscribe button right now. What are you waiting on? So a lot of you have asked me, why haven't you gotten the Apple credit card? Why didn't you do a review on the Apple credit card? It's because I honestly, I don't wanna use it. But I'm gonna give you some positives. Let, let's go over the details of the Apple credit card, and then I'm gonna let you know why I don't like the Apple credit card and give you two alternatives that I think give you a better cash back reward system than the Apple card. So if you go here to your Apple wallet, you'll probably see an ad for the Apple credit card. So if you click on that, you can apply. And what is cool about this is it does give you the ability to have the credit card live and living in your wallet on your iPhone or your iPad or something like that and you can apply Apple Pay to it if you want to. And the cool thing is it gives you daily unlimited cash back of a certain percentage. So the nice thing about that is typically with credit cards, you gotta wait until you either build up a certain threshold of money in your cash back rewards, or you have to wait by the month to cash those rewards out. So this is nice that you can immediately take that percentage daily and use it in your Apple credit card. Uh, not only do you get that, it does have a very good way to kind of visualize and see your balance. And it does give you a little bit of a visual, uh, I'll call it a visual motivation to pay off that credit card every month, which is definitely a good thing. I've done actually a review on why it's important and how to pay off your credit card every month. And I'll link that video up above in the note cards. The other thing that it does is it does, of course, bring you a physical card. Now this card is a titanium card. And I think that is what gets people so fired up and excited. I don't know what it is about titanium cards, but people get so excited about owning that, that metal piece of just ability to show your worth. But it's not the American Express titanium card. We're talking about the Apple credit card. So don't, don't get too excited about it, but let me get to why I don't like this. So even though you get the unlimited cash back and all this and that and the next thing, the percentages I just don't think are worth it. Let's review this. You're gonna get 3% cash back only if you use it on apple.com in an Apple store or anything Apple related. So that's great if you're, if you're always buying Apple products. Theoretically, month by month, you're not gonna always be buying Apple products. So the 3%, okay, that's okay. There are other select merchants, such as Nike, Uber, Walgreens, with more coming soon. But again, that's up to the decision of, of course, Apple to decide who is gonna be that select merchant. It could be somebody that you shop with. It could be a business that you don't do any business with and you don't care about. And therefore the 3% really isn't worth it. You get 2% daily cash back when you use Apple Pay. Now that's kind of nice, but Apple Pay isn't available everywhere. So there are some businesses that do accept it and that's great and it is growing, so that's nice. But if you don't have that ability to use the Apple Pay, guess what? Your 2% is now immediately downgraded to only 1%. That's ultimately what this credit card's all about. It's unlimited 1% daily cash back when you use the titanium card somewhere that doesn't have Apple Pay yet. If you do the toss up between 1% and 2% either way, I just, you know, to me, I don't think that's really worth it. Granted, you don't have to pay an annual fee and anything like that, but there are two cards that I will recommend today that I think are better than the Apple card that I personally use that I think you should consider too. If you're looking for your next credit card opportunity, I don't think Apple credit card is really the way to go. So let, let's talk about what these are. The very first one is the American Express Blue Everyday Cash Card. Now, I've done a review on this one before, but I really think this is a great card because it doesn't carry any annual fee, but you're gonna get a little bit more. You're gonna get 3% cash back on your first $6,000 per year of purchases at US supermarkets. You go to the grocery store and you get 3% cash back. Now, who doesn't shop for groceries? I mean, almost everybody does. And that, no matter what, is going to be a qualifier as long as it's the right kind of grocery store for an immediate 3% cash back. And then you're going to get 2% cash back on U.S. gas stations. 
as well as select US department stores. So you're getting 3%, 2%, and then 1% on everything else. I think that, that kind of gives you a little bit more leverage. You don't have to be sucked into having to do the Apple Pay if Apple Pay is not available. You also have the ability to upgrade with the supermarket and the grocery store. So if you're a big family and you're buying groceries every week, this is a proper card. But let's say you're not a big grocery person. Well, there's another alternative. You can do the city double cash card. Now the city card is cool because you're going to get 2% cash back regardless. So this one's probably most like the Apple card. The city double cash card works that you get 1% cash back on all of your purchases, but then you also get an additional 1% cash back when you pay off the card. The nice thing about that is if you keep on the game of paying off that balance every single month, you're going to immediately always earn the 2%. And I think that is a cool way to earn some serious cash back, especially if you use that card for almost all your purchases. Again, I would really click that link in the video up above so you can learn how to actually balance your checkbook with your credit card so you can guarantee yourself paying that off every month and taking advantage of the 2%. So then in comparing these, really the plastic makes a lot more sense than the titanium Apple card, don't you think? Now, if you're up for a little bit of an upgrade, there is another card that I've been using, but this one is a little bit different than everything I've mentioned in this video because this is the blue preferred card from American Express. The big difference here is this does carry a $95 annual fee, but here's what you get with it. 6% cash back on all grocery store purchases. So you upgrade from three to 6%, not too shabby. And you get 6% cash back on streaming services. If you're a fan of Netflix, Hulu, if you have uh, something like Sling TV or AT&T TV Now, or any of the cut the cord type of streaming deals, 6% cash back on that. You'll get 3% cash back on all US gas stations every time you purchase from a gas station. So unless you drive a Tesla, that's a pretty cool deal. And then 1% cash back on all other purchases. They do also offer monthly deals that increase your cash back amount. Again, for us, I'm a family of four. We use a lot of streaming services. So all of that cash back rewards that we're going to get from our everyday purchases more than makes up the annual fee and gives us a really good benefit. You can check that one out as well, but just keep in mind that one does come with the annual fee. So what do you think? Are you an Apple card fan or are you kind of like me and you're thinking there's better cards out there that can give you more bang for your buck? Let me know, comment below, smash that like button. If you enjoyed this video, I would certainly appreciate it. Other than that, guys, keep living your sweet life because you're worth it. Have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.